Eat a stomping around with them little legs. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, that was a good shot. Nuka Girl. Nuka Girl. She was going over here to the um, Fort Hagen satellite array because we were involved in the headhunting quest of the Automatron DLC. Because she has got to get into the robot business, you know, technologically advanced and all that. Let's see what she is wearing for the day. Holy moly, that's a lot. Nuka Girl functional rocket suit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's functional. And it doesn't have the helmet. Because it didn't want the helmet. I just wanted the uh, her hair to flow in the breeze, you know. And she's locked and loaded with her tactical alien SMG for all manner of threats, foreign and domestic. Beautiful day out there. Okay. Let's lock, let's load, let's roll. That means we need to go over here, over here, over here. Let's go this way. Da, da, da. Oh, we can actually get the... Yeah, let's get the map markers too while we're here. While we are at it. And I happen to notice that she is armed with her... Nuke, a quantum cola grenade. Oh, oh, oh. The Nuka cola grenades, that's another uh, mod at the Nexus. As you know, I prefer the I suggest we take as much as we can carry. cherry cola grenade the most, simply because it is uh, long sustained fire damage. I hear a disagreement. And you know why she's grabbing stuff? Because when you get in the robot business, you need a lot of resources. Let's see what's going on. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. These rust devils aren't far from home, are they? That dome head. What are they fighting against? Oh, unless they were trying to um, just capture more robots for their nefarious activities yes get that telephone yeah let's see what was in here yeah look at this dude a minute Ooh. Does he have one of those silly, uh, I guess he does. Man, this guy, guy has it all. Look at him. Ooh, I wouldn't touch that. Sweet. There's nothing sweet about the runs that it gives you. The trots.
Looks like some sciencey stuff was going on in here. Ooh, look at that. Here in my eye, man. Ada wouldn't have that problem. It was swift. It was merciful. Mm -hmm. Let's get this one while we're at it. Those boarded up buildings. Filling station. You know what it's filled with? Dreams. Yeah, dreams. Some aluminium. That's a good find. The big question is always what sort of approach to make. You mean, uh, what's uh? Climb up. Okay, they can see us. There we go. That thing's going nuts over there. Dude.
stop for corn. That's spooky. Oh, beautiful picture. The horizon behind her. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. It's open, Ada. It's open. Find the rowboat brain riding the rowboat train. He's riding the rowboat soul train. Train, man, I used to watch that on Saturdays when it was on. Oh, <laughs> don't ever, ever do that again. Yes, later on, later on, later on. Okay, good. So we're definitely gonna need that. Oh man. Ada, what did you do? Gave us away, that's what you did, Ada. I took out both of them. Wow. What? Three powers of stuff. Mm. 
Man, look at you, man. Take down all these guys by yourself? Yes, there was. There's this room right here. I always forget about this room right here. It's got some goodies. Overdue book. Somebody just doesn't care about the rules in here. It's Raiders. Yeah. Poking beans. Like poke and beans. <laughs> uh, all right, let's, uh, she's not into. Power armor here. At some point, I put a uh, blue sticky on her character sheet. It just says Nuka World on it. Like, yes, I know. I know she's going to Nuka World. Yes, she's Nuka Girl. Of course, she's going to Nuka World. It's just a matter of time. But first, we got to do the Automatron thing. Because I want her to have some really killer robots around with her. Especially later on she can um, get those Nuka World designs to her robots, which will be awfully spiffy. Really snazzy. And one thing we always like is a snazzy looking robot. What's in here? Fusion Core. Now that's a good fun. I see a dog painting in the tr oh look at the oh look at that I've never noticed that before he's got a little dog painting too look mama bear talk giving baby bear a uh, give him <laughs> well I think it's special I do it's it's, it's precious look at that you know, a bedtime story, and you got this dead guy out here, and nobody knows who that is. Are we in the. Oh, sit, look, there's all sorts of mysteries over here. Look at this. It's a realm of madness. You got these two guys. What is that? Rat poison. Got this guy. Man, why is it this? This is the first time I'm seeing some of this. Then you got this and that and stuff. Okay, let's douse the light. I'm boring. Oh wait, there's some stuff over here too. Why do these raiders always insist on living in environments with very, very little light? Gosh, gosh. Wait a minute. Is there a way to open this? Oh, no. oh, just get on the... Mm 
devils do to you? They felt that by keeping my head online would prove useful to them. Fortunately for me, they're stupid enough to actually believe anything I say. Admittedly, it hasn't gotten me very far, but it has saved me from the same fate as my rather unfortunate comrades you see in pieces around you. Now, back to my original question. What are you doing here? She said they, they believe everything she says, but she also says later in the storyline that she's not programmed to lie. Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon. How very interesting. Where's my That's arm? a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like a typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, uh. and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. See, because the other Rust Devils don't have those cool red racing stripes down the sides of their outfits. I could definitely use the help. I thought you might say something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. Finger guns. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. See? So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. <sighs> now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. You ready, Ada? Not wait around for more horrifying monstrosities. Horrifying yeah. the monstrosities. That's why I'm here. I want horrifying monstrosities. I want angry monsters. Watch the trip wires. I'd rather keep myself intact today. Thank you. Give me those fiber optics, baby. Ooh. What well, what's the um danger in here? If the trip wires went off, what was the um Oh those are grenades oh okay What you talking about man? No sign of them now. Yeah, yeah. Once again, dark as anything. 
You know, all she really had to have is some very powerful light and just shine in their faces, man. Just blind them because they were not used to it. The gaming terminal. Yes. Give me that hollow tape. Give it to me. Nothing there now. No, nothing. It's all good, man. Approach. Approach. Grab your ankles right. and prepare to be assimilated. By yourself. I think Law abiding myself. citizens will not be harmed. Your compatriots aren't law abiding citizens. Don't even tell me they are. I won't believe it. Anybody else? You really are taking the path of most resistance here, I aren't you? I love it. I love resistance. I'm trying to find the right button here. Hey! Eat it, Harvey. Hostiles? No, it wasn't. We still got uh, Mr. Gunner's nest up here. There we go. Oh, now let's turn the lights on so you can see something. Put your gun away, ma'am. Yeah, she can sell that. Stuff. Body parts. Jetpack. <laughs> Solve that problem. Look at you, man. You don't look a mess. Ah! Hair in face. Don't like. Ah! Oh, man. All right. There we go. Pelican beat? No, that's dog food. Dog food? I'll show him dog food. Caddyshack. Classic. Classic movie.
Once again, I don't understand it. Raiders who put traps in their own home, because you know they just stumble around either drunk or high most of the time. Oh, I should have left that light on. And you know, one of them's going to wander right into it. Forgetting that it's there or not even realizing that it's there. But then again, this is a fantasy world. <laughs> You telling her she can't open this? There we go. Please. Please. What do you want to do? You certainly have a knack for adapting to technology. She's a brainy character. Bonnie Bob. Well, we're almost to uh boss lady, right? I'm sure she can wander around, you know, and share the love of the fun and excitement of uh, Nuka Cola. As a company representative. Oh, fuel, yes. Oh, dead end. is um oh yes 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 let's grab the resources wait no is that a dead robot oh look at that wait there whoa 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 come on no problem where did you come from now give me that rifle that you're standing on. <laughs> Based on my limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. Disembodied heads should not be talking. Coast Guard hat. You know, it's tempting. It's tempting. Oh, jeez, man. Again? Ah. Why don't you just play her in Scrabble? Let's see who wins. I have a Goodness, man, that armor was powerful. I would have killed her myself. Oh well. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Yeah, let's Good just, uh, job, human. Spare all that boasting. And how great you are in all that business. You know what that's called, right? It's called pride. People usually get all puffed up right before they fail and make an idiot out of themselves. Do you understand, Jessica?
Is her alien rifle just not that powerful? Is that what's going on here? Give me a dinner tray. Grab. Grab. See, you can't. Ada all of a sudden? Heavy stomping of her clumpy feet. Nor do I see her. Oh, there she is. Where in the world were you? Get out of this abysmal place. This place of ample horrors. Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think your job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Well, I'll provide you a body. Doesn't mean it's going to meet your standards. So let's do all that over. All right, what do we have? Oh, we have to speak to Ada. That's right. Come on, Ada. Where are you? Don't be shy now. Come here. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being... Well, a real pain in the neck. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Let's soothe the bruised ego. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Mm. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. It could still happen. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Okay. 
So to do that, let's go back to our new and exciting lair. And hang in the alley. Look at this guy. He's ready to scrap. Heck yeah, well rested. Like usual, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just have her guard the, the homestead. Because I can see no other reason or function for her. I just don't like the fact that I'm using my resources to build this broad now. legs to Ada. Oh, oh, oh. I'm uh, just going to be fat there. Paint. Yeah, we usually make her pink. So she's easy to see. Ah, uh, yes. And of course we have to yeah, rename. Just bell. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Exit. Not a bad job at all. This body you selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. I'm sorry you feel that way. It's the best I could do. Yes. Well, it's certainly better than being stuck to a machine surrounded by rust devils poking and prodding me for their amusement. Silver lining. Look, Silver lining. It's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. Mm -hmm. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. I find that very hard to believe. I can't imagine why. It's actually quite simple. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. The Mechanist gave you these instructions to kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. Okay. 
You can believe whatever you want. Just tell me how to access the mechanist facility like you promised. Certainly. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve yes, between you yourself and the mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. Have I got a job for you, Jezebel? Ooh, tell me we... Let me go ahead and throw you up on the wall. Ah, nuka flag, that's funny. Come here, Jezebel. Get on that wall. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Alright, why I have that bonus, let's go ahead and do some cooking. Do some home cooking. Experience points. Yes. Yes. Stay wing filet. Okay, cool. Now go ahead and well let me go ahead and talk to Ada and get that out. Hey. Mayor. Yes. Ada. I trust you've completed your business with Jessica. Uh-huh. I hope she wasn't too difficult. Uh-uh. I got what we needed. Good. What did she say we need to access the mechanist facility? An M I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the mechanist facility. Very smart. Mm. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, mm -hmm. like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? It's time to confront the mechanist. I hope you're allowed the opportunity. I, too, am curious as to what the mechanist would have to say. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. Yes, I do. Ah, you look good on that wall, Jezebel. You and your hunchback. Look at you. Quasimodo looking. Mm-mm-mm. And set. Now let's do something about those legs. I'm not sure I want to keep her, so we're just going to go factory. Let me see if I can do anything with this rifle before we leave on out of here. I don't think I can, but let's, let's take a look. Well, at least as of right now. So that's okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And we are ready. 
ready to go take off and take on the mechanist. And it's going to be a little a bit of a uh, road trip, but that's all right. So stay cool. Thanks for hanging out and watching the show. And we'll pick her up later. Bye. Look at that beefy arm, man. That is one beefy arm. Well, it's better than Jezebel. Having that hunchback. The hunchback of Hangman's Alley.